Good morning and welcome to my Pagan Pathworks. My name is Lisa and I'm the founder of the channel. In today's and today's video we're gonna do an update on the garden. Um, so if you're interested, keep watching. Okay, so this morning we're going to start in the front and, and do things a little bit different. Um, so we we got a brand new rose coming up. That I think is so pretty. And the geraniums have lost all their blooms. Hopefully they're going to put up some more pretty soon, I hope. Um, and then the little, I don't know what to call these things but they're just gorgeous as well. I love them. So let's travel over here. Now, I hope to get all these beds weeded. I didn't get to them last night, I just ran out of time. Cause I had to mow the grass. Grass was pretty, pretty terrible. And so, those beds look pretty good. This one looks good, but oh my God, look how bad the grass has overgrown it. Um, so it is definitely on the agenda to pull all that grass out this weekend. And I'm not sure what happened to our little birds, but they're gone and only one little bad egg left in there. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know if they grew that fast or something got them or what. So anyway, that bed still looks awesome. Tree in the middle is progressing very well. Not sure if it needs to stay there or not. It could be too close to the water line. Um, but here's our one little marigold. It is doing very well. I am really happy with that little tiny marigold. And, and then we have some more flowers blooming over here as well. I don't know what these are called, but they're just, I, they're just so pretty. I just love them. And then over here is our, we're actually getting some new blooms on the jasmine. I'm so excited about that because I really love the way jasmine smells. And here's another problem. You see that little turkey ant? Let me see. Ants have been a problem all around the yard. Um, and I'm doing some research on what I can do to get rid of those ants. Um, this is another bed that needs a little bit of weeding. But just about everything I planted in here is coming up, so I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, so I don't know if you could tell, but this area is really shaded, and I'm learning that shade is is a real problem for some of these um, plants that that I have planted. So. Um, I'm going to turn the camera off and I'm going to go into the backyard and show you the backyard garden. Alrighty, here is our little, uh, again, these begonias are, are just doing so well. I'm so happy that, um, that they are doing so well. And here's our little, another pothos ivy, I think that's called a pothos. I'm not real sure. Anyway, and... Here's all these beautiful um, Christmas cactus, aloe veras, my nephew's garden. I don't know what some of these plants are. Some of them are succulents. Well, no, I think he moved all his succulents out. I'm not sure what all these are, to be honest. Um, but they're looking like he needs to come and have some water ready water them i can't even talk this morning um so 
yesterday I mowed the grass back here because it was getting pretty woolly and I used the trimmings to mulch this little bed um, really I don't think those potatoes that I planted there came up um, but I wanted to start amending the soil on this side of the yard and um, I guess that's just what I'm going to start with. I don't know how much nutrition the grass is going to give it, but we're hoping and I, I just kind of wanted to um, kind of mulch this bed with that grass just to see what would happen. This little plant is holding on. Um, but the deer got to it. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it is going to pull through or not. Um, but I keep watering it in the hopes that yes, it will come through. I still need to weed eat the yard. As, um, as you can see, we still have our pile of wood over here that we need to burn. Um... But I have concerns about my garden, and I'm going to share those with you as as we're taking the tour this morning. There's the marigolds. They're coming. They're doing okay. I'm going to take the gate off. And let's go in here. All right. So, look. I've got little beans. Or these are peas. And I've got some peas. Oh, and I've got a spider as well. So, gotta love those spiders. Um, so, these plants are, are doing pretty well. Um, now, when the sun comes over that tree over there, I'm not sure if you can see it. When the sun comes over that tree, this part of the garden gets a lot of sunlight for a lot of hours. But late in the afternoon, these trees at the top, um, now I don't mind this pecan tree, but I hate this tree right here. I would really like to cut it down. Um, I don't like these trees, they run runners. And before you know it, they're everywhere. So they're very invasive. Um, I am thinking really strongly about cutting that branch off because it shades the garden too much and I believe that part of the reason why I only have a little bit of fruit on these plants is because they're not getting enough sun and um, some of them like see all those mushrooms so I'm never buying this this brand of garden soil again because it comes all the just fungus among us and so right now you can't really see because they're not on there right now but I have been having a lot of problems with ants and ants are eating the blooms and the fruit off of there yeah see right there and see that little guy so I haven't figured out how I'm going to stop the ant problem and I've also decided I've also figured out that spacing on these is is also a problem um, when they're too when they're too close together they don't grow well they don't pr produce enough fruit so for my first garden I am learning what not to do and I'm so happy about that and here's my green onion patch it's still doing okay we don't eat a lot of green onions i'm not sure why i planted them but i'll, I'll figure out what to do with them and um that zucchini over there is holding on it has not been invaded by the ants but it is not producing flowers yet um and the flowers seem to be what is attracting those ants so we'll see what happens with those and here's my other tomato plants. Um, so I'm going to give these guys some um, fertilizer today. And 
this is my beans. Um, they are doing pretty well as well. We're getting, um, oh, what I thought was blossoms is not blossoms yet. Um, but hopefully we'll get some blossoms. And here's the problem that you can see right down in there. You see all those ants? They get down in there and they eat the flower. And they eat the flower right off. And I guess they're in there for the honey. Or the whatever. Whatever sweet stuff is down in there. So when they get finished with that, the flower falls off. And, and then... We got a problem because it also they also do it with the fruit flowers, um, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to get rid of these ants or these plants are not gonna produce any fruit at all um, if the ants keep eating their flowers. So that is a big problem. I don't know what to do with. Here's my other tomato plant. I do have some tomatoes, little tomatoes on these plants. Well, at least that one. Um, haven't got anything off of that yet. And so we do have a tomato right there. So that's good. So if we can just keep on keeping on with those. Um, my herbs are doing very good. I think it'll be time to um, prune these uh, mint here in a bit so I can dry some of the flowers and the 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 point of drying or planting those was so I could um uh make tea boy that one that thought was hard to come out but anyway these plants are looking exceptionally well but they get a lot of sun right here and as you can see that that the sun is starting to come over that tree right there so as soon as they get up off that tree this part of the garden is going to get lots of sun and so let's take down this other fence so I had flowers on all these or some of these and um I don't see any fruit on these. I, I don't see any tomatoes. Um, so I'm a little concerned about that. And this is what I mean about spacing. Um, these guys are really close together. Um, and they appear to, to be getting uh, the proper nutrition because they haven't turned yellow. And they're not very wilty. Um, but as you can see over here, one of them has fallen down. And because I didn't have... I don't have proper supports for some of these, so um, this evening um, I have I have to go out of town for the day. Um, so this evening, when I get home, part of my plan is to figure out what to do with these giant tomatoes because um, they get that big and they definitely need support. And the little sticks I put in the ground are not strong enough to support them. Now the big sticks are, but the little little sticks are just or they, they're just not strong enough. And half of me thinks I'm, I'm going to have to pull some of these out and thin them out. Or I just didn't expect all of them to survive, to be honest. And, and these ones in the front are the one that gets the most sunlight. And um, so I think that's why these are the tallest, the, especially the ones in the front. So I'm thinking I might need to take some of the ones in the back. Just go ahead and pull those plants out. It's it's hard for me to do that. I don't like to do it that way, but you know, there you go. So um, all right. So these are the zucchini in the ground, and as you can see, are, are the 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 plants themselves are starting to get a little bit he healthier, but the ants are eating all the flowers. That one doesn't have any flowers on it at all. Um, uh, but it looks like it's going to try to grow some more. So that's good. But as you can see, there's there's ants everywhere. Um, and, and it's the number one enemy of the garden. And um, so 
here's here is my um these are actually cantaloupes i put them on trellises because i didn't want them vining all over the place in places i didn't like um these two are doing pretty good these two are, are kind of struggling um the ants are also a problem with them and um, this zucchini is or this uh, squash is looking really good i'm really happy with it but again i'm gonna have to put something to keep the ants off of it and there's my peppers over there no they were getting a lot of sunshine there um maybe not so much now um i'm gonna watch it this afternoon see what what it looks like i may have to move these buckets out of the i'm gonna have to put these peppers in full sun because they are just they need full sun to be really thriving and as you can tell they're not they're not really thriving right there so there's there's a concern about that although the jalapeno peppers that are bought at the store um that pepper plant seems to be doing okay right now Here, here's some more carrots the carrots seem to be doing okay and the lettuce is hanging in there too so i am um, yeah you know i really happy that i've been able to get this far i have learned a lot in just this one season and um i've learned the importance of sunshine and spacing and and so i'm i'm really happy with this very first first garden um and i, I hope you will stay with me until the end of the growing season for my weekly garden updates um, to see what happens next. Anyway, I thank you so very much for joining me today, and I hope you will come back again next week. Thank you so much for watching.